Welcome back to our learning course. In this lesson, we will look at schedules of reinforcement. A schedule of reinforcement is the rule to deliver reward or punishment based on the animal's behavior. Schedules are important because they have different effects on behavior. We will look at the basic four schedules, but there are many more. Let's see what these basic schedules are. There are two factors that go into these schedules. One is the rule used to give rewards. You can schedule a reward every X times a behavior is performed, in which case you have a ratio schedule, or when behavior is performed after some time X since the last behavior. In this case, you have an interval schedule. So ratio schedules are based on the number of times you perform a behavior and interval schedules on when you perform a behavior. The second factor is whether the parameter X in the schedule is always the same, which is called a fixed schedule, or changes every time, which is a variable schedule. Let's see how this works in some detail using concrete examples. Fixed ratio is probably the simplest kind of schedule. Simply, you get your reward every X times you do the behavior. This is described in this timeline where B represents a behavior and the sum up symbol a reward. In this case, we have an FI4 schedule, meaning that the behavior is reinforced every fourth time. It does not matter when you do the behavior, only how many times. A vending machine is a good example of fixed ratio schedule. If you need to insert four quarters to get a snack, the coin insertion behavior is rewarded on an FR4 schedule. VR schedules are like FR schedules in that they count how many times you do a behavior, but the number needed to get a reward changes unpredictably. Gambling is a classic example of VR schedule. You know that there is a probability of winning every time, but you never know exactly how many times you have to play to win. Our timeline indicates this by having a variable number of Bs in between reinforcers. Let's now move to fixed interval schedules. This is a kind of schedule where rewards become available at fixed intervals after the last behavior. For example, if we put out food for our cat after eight hours since the last meal, we reward the cat's checking for food on an FI eight hour schedule. In our timeline, I have indicated with circles the time that one needs to wait until the reward becomes available. As you can see, the time is always the same, and only behaviors performed after the time has elapsed are rewarded. For example, here there is a behavior performing during this timeout, and there is no thumbs up symbol, so there is no reward after that behavior. While for every behavior that is performed after the interval has elapsed, you do have a reinforcement. A VI variable interval schedule is similar to an FI schedule, but the time to wait until the next reward becomes available is unpredictable. In our timeline, this is indicated by a variable amount of circles. This variability means that there is no way for the animal to be sure when a reward is available. In this schedule, many reinforcers are bound to produce no reward because they are performed when the reward is not available during the timeout period. A good example of VI schedule in everyday life occurs at the bus stops. Imagine that the bus arrival times are unpredictable. This is often the case in big cities. At the bus stop, people often try to spot the bus arriving in the distance. This looking behavior is rewarded by the sight of the bus. This reward is on a VI schedule because the time one waits varies every time we go to the bus stop and because the behavior of looking has no influence on the bus arriving. Still, we do it because it is occasionally rewarded by the sight of the bus. Schedules are important because they cause different patterns of behavior. This kind of graph is called a cumulative record. It's another invention by Skinner, and it shows how many responses are performed as a function of time. So a steep line means more responses. Let's start from the fixed ratio schedule here in blue. We see steady responding means that the slope of the line is pretty much constant. And in real life, we also see a pause after every reinforcement. The pause is not very apparent in this graph, but it occurs in real life. For example, if you are calling people to advertise a product and you get paid every 10 calls, you are likely to take a break every 10 calls. When the next reward seems far away, you are not likely 
to take a break when you have made nine calls, since just one more call will get you a payment. With variable ratio here in green, the response rate can be very high if the reward is high. Because every roll of the die is a probability of winning, it makes sense to roll as quickly as possible. Fixed interval schedules here in orange give an interesting pattern of responding called a scallop. This means that responding is slow right after a reinforcement, but then gets faster and faster as the time approaches when the next reinforcement becomes available. It seems that animals like humans can approximately keep track of time. While practicing the schedule, they learn that it makes no sense to respond right after they get a reward, because this is never rewarded. As the time of the next reward approaches, the urge to respond increases. In our example, the cat is unlikely to check for food right after it ate. It will wait some time and then the food checking behavior will increase until the time of the next feeding approaches. Variable interval or VI schedules give a steady rate of responding like VR schedule, but often not a very high rate. This makes sense because more responding hurts you more rewards only up to a point. You need to respond to get the reward, but you also need to wait an unpredictable amount of time until the next reward is available. As long as you respond once in a while, you can earn pretty much all of the scheduled rewards. It does not make sense to respond much more than that. Another important effect of schedules is how resistant to extinction a behavior is. Recall from our lessons on Pavlovian conditioning that the word extinction refers to what happens when the reinforcer becomes unavailable. Typically, the behavior that was trained stops, and this is true in both Pavlovian and instrumental conditioning. For example, when Pavlov stopped offering meat after ringing a bell, his dogs stopped salivating at the sound of the bell. If you want, you can say that extinction is also a particular schedule of reinforcement, one under which reinforcement is never available. The point we want to make here is that behaviors trained under different schedules have different resistance to extinction. We can make sense of this by referring to the example of schedules that we used before. Let's start with fixed ratio schedules, FR. Their resistance to extinction is typically low, meaning that once we stop reinforcing, the behavior stops soon. You can remember this by thinking about our vending machine example. If you put in your four quarters and nothing comes out, do you keep going? Probably not for long. You may try one or two more times if you're hungry, but no more than that. We described this situation by saying that the coin insertion behavior extinguishes quickly when reinforcement is discontinued. On the other hand, VR variable ratio schedules are often very resistant to extinction. Imagine that your die that you're rolling and you're trying to get a, a six with is rigged so that it actually never lands on a six. But you still roll many times before giving up. The reason seems to be that even with a regular die, you're used to not winning for long stretches of time. It takes a long time to notice that something is wrong with the rigged die and give up. The situation for interval schedules is similar. FI schedules have low resistance to extinction while VI schedules have high resistance. If the cat doesn't get its food regularly, they stop checking for it after just a few times. But if the bus breaks down, you will continue to look for it for a long time. Like in the VR schedule, you are used to waiting even under normal circumstances. How quickly and robustly a behavior can be extinguished is important because often we want to get rid of problem behavior, ranging from class disruptions to crime. The research on schedules of reinforcement tells us that it does not only matter how we try to extinguish the behavior, but also how the behavior was previously reinforced. This lesson is over. Here are some suggestions on what to study next. Happy learning to everyone.